Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Fallout 4 with Reshade and Sweet Effects. And you can get the files you'll need here at Nexus Mods or at ModDB. Now, with ModDB, you just want to click the Download Now, and then you'll want to also download the Reshade update. And you just click on that and download the 3.41 which is right here with Nexus Mods you just want to go to the files and click the manual download and the reshade update is here and same thing just click it and download the 3.41 now once you've downloaded the two files you'll need open the reshade and sweet effects and minimize your browser then you will want to go to your Steam game library to the Fallout 4 right click select properties local files and browse local files and that will open up your game folder once your game folder is open just drag and drop the contents of the download into your game folder and you can close that download and next you'll want to run the reshade update so just click on that to run it, minimize your browser, select game, and if the folder address isn't pointed to the Fallout 4 folder, then just copy the address here from your game folder, and then paste that in at the top, and press the enter key, and that will take it to the game folder for you select the Fallout 4 EXE and open click the Direct 3D 10 Plus for select rendering API now you want to overwrite the existing installation but you don't want the reshade shader so say no there and that's finished just close the reshade installer and at this point just start your game and make sure that everything's working correctly. You'll see the reshade running in across the top of the game as the game starts. And you'll be able to use the scroll lock to enable and disable the effects. Now, I will make a gameplay video to show a comparison of the actual mod running. And I will show you how to set that up in game, the reshade. And there are notes actually on the mod itself for doing that. Although you don't have to set up the reshade interface, you can just use the scroll lock and the effects should toggle on and off. Now if you decide that you want to uninstall it, then just go back to the game folder here and you're going to select these five files, the sweet effects, reshade of effects, the sweet effects, and the DXGI, as well as the reshade iodine. And just delete those out of the game folder, and it's now uninstalled. Now one thing that I'd like to do after I've installed a reshade and sweet effects is actually add my game EXE to CleanMem. And if you're unfamiliar with CleanMem, I will leave a link in the video description in order to install that and get it set up. If you already have CleanMem set up, then you're just going to copy that game EXE there. And you want to go to your CleanMem and start the CleanMem settings wizard. So I don't have it running at the moment, so I'll just go to my clean mem here and start the mini monitor so with the mini monitor running just right click and start the clean mem setting wizard just go through to your only list and I would have shown you how to set this up in the setup video and you're going to click the plus and just add the game exe in there say OK and it's now added to the list. Now you can also add the Fallout Launcher EXE by 
copying that and just click the plus again and paste that in say OK now if I had the script extender in here I could also add that exe to the list also but I, I don't have the script extender at the moment so I'll just say next and finish and that basically is how you set the reshade with sweet effects upgrade the reshade as well as uninstall it and adding the game exe to clean map. Now if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.